Welcome back. Thanks for checking out another video. I am out for foray number seven of 2023. It is April 5th, which is just now getting into the normal time that the season would be beginning. And I, I've had a month of good forays this year already. So it just illustrates the fact that you have to get out based on conditions and not time of year. Anyway, I am, uh, I just got out to where I'm coming to. I've already picked a few. This is an area that I have suspected for years. I've been coming here over five years and I've never found any here, but the habitat looks excellent. Everything checks out as far as what should produce them. And indeed this year it is producing a nice little flush in this thicket. And uh, I'm sure there's some more back in here. Um, so far I've only found a few, but uh, this could be my best trip of the year. I hope so. I'll be back if I find anything um, else. Don't leave fish to find fish. When it's difficult, uh, there's a real habit of becoming despondent about how difficult it is and just wanting to go, thinking that maybe somewhere else you might do better. But if you're in an area that you know has mushrooms, it's better to slow down, kneel down, scan the ground, um, look behind every little leaf, because quite often, if you're getting frustrated, you're just walking past them. And if you'll slow down and look around, you'll find that they are hiding right in front of your face. And there are some huge ones in this patch that I'm in right now. And I'm gonna harvest these and stay where the fish are. I am truly off in the land of giants. And all I can say is, wow, I sure am happy I came out today. Monsters. No matter how many I find, or how many I spot, it always just amazes me at what I've been missing. You have to look deeper into things to find them. They grow at the similar pace to all of these plants around them, and the plants shield them. It's a learning process that never ends once you start. And those of us who do it are the lucky few who get to experience it. Creek bottoms are the key in my area, but as the season progresses, they get more and more choked and overgrown, hard to move through, hard to see into. It's real important to move at a snail's pace, literally. If you're not moving extremely slowly, there just is no way that you're gonna spot them very often. They hide back in here. They're masters of camouflage. They are not flashy mushrooms. And so you have to hunt them accordingly. It's Jurassic Park out here. You see this thicket here? This is nothing but wild rose. 
It is extremely thorny. It's horrible. I hate going into stuff like this. However, I spotted a morel back in there. And even for just one that's in really good shape, I will go to the effort to get in and find it. And the way I do that is with some pruning shears and just cut and then stomp, cut, stomp, and repeat and hope that it's worth it. So I went to the trouble to cut a little tunnel up under this rose patch and uh, all I could see under here was one mushroom and it looked good but you know not amazing but that's the one I saw but when you get up under here there's actually quite a few there over here and I wouldn't have seen those so it is worth doing this if you want to collect quite a bit more than you would find any other Every way. Every year as the season progresses, I find myself just in more and more ridiculous types of situations to collect these. Um, and now here I am again, and there's killer mushrooms all back in here, but I will literally be crawling on my stomach like a worm to get them and a lot of times in videos the struggle that it takes is not conveyed very well and you just see pictures of people's baskets full of these or them collecting giant mushrooms and i may sound like a broken record in all my videos if you watch them but you have to go the extra mile for morels. That's all there is to it. So, when I say I gotta crawl like a worm, I mean it. This is what a lot of my forays are actually like. I don't break the camera out all the time because it's a pain to film when you are actually on your stomach crawling, but I'm getting up under here and they're all around me. Going back into this thicket and I'm sure they're in all directions, so you do what you gotta do. Continuing on in this thicket and uh, I'm way up in here now and there just keeps being more and more as I go, so you know, they will lure you into extremely difficult habitat. And it's well worth it. You just gotta keep your composure because it's easy to get claustrophobic and literally lose your mind in places like this. You gotta really take your time. The glowing morel. The beauty. Well, I'm sweaty, bloody, and bruised, as you should be at the end of any good morel foray. Um, I've got a nice basket already, and I'm into an area with some really nice diminutivas now, the tulip morel. And this most likely will be the last video of my morel season. I will continue bringing content of other species as I forage them throughout the year. But uh, I really appreciate all the support and new subscribers. If you are new to my channel and you like uh, mushroom foraging related content, be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you'll know when I upload new videos. To all of you that have been supporting, huge thank you. I hope that your season progresses excellent. And if it's already been going, I hope it's been as good as mine. And uh, look forward to having you along on some future forays. Thanks a lot.